What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the living room. We are the Octobers. Guys, we checked out Lord of the Rings. We finished that trilogy, and what a treat it was, man. It was one of the... It was an honor, it as was, you would say. It was an absolute honor <laughs> to check it out, man. It was a journey, and today we're taking another unexpected one, and we're checking out The Hobbit. So you guys told us not to get our expectations up that high, but you know what, man? I'm really not going to go into it with that energy. I want to watch this movie and take it for what it is. I don't expect it to be as good as The Lord of the Rings, but honestly, guys... The bar was set really high with that one. Extremely high, man. So I'm really excited to see this movie. So this is a prequel to the lord of the rings obviously and it's going to help explain the story of how we got to that moment in time and we obviously know how it all ended with Gollum falling into mount doom and destroying the ring forever so i'm excited to see it man like subscribe turn on the notifications so you guys can take this journey with us it's going to be a three-part series and guys we're going to break this into two parts man because these reactions run really long and it's just better for our audience i think they prefer if we just break them down into shorter videos so you can check out part two in the description below let's go let's go you feeling a little sniffly. Mrs. October has been sick, y'all. I know I say that a lot. That's why I have to go to the Shire to heal me. Hopefully the Shire will heal me. But you've been taking care of me because you're sweet. Knock on wood, man. I haven't gotten sick yet, so. Oh, I love this font. It makes me like kind of get nostalgic. Wing nut. I mean, if I didn't have a little chills, I'd be lying. Yeah, I'm like tearing up. <laughs> you asked me once if I had told you everything there was to know about my adventures well kind of look like the one that he gave frodo. Now, frodo or no he didn't give him a sword did he i'm not the nope. same hobbit i once was it is time for you to know what really happened it began long ago in a land far away to the east the like of which you will not find in the world today Ooh. <laughs> was the city of Dale. Okay. Its markets known far and wide, full of the bounties of vine and vale, peaceful and prosperous. It's really pretty there. Absolutely. That's what, that's what I'm saying. For this city lay before the doors of the greatest kingdom in Middle-earth, Erebor. Erebor. Mightiest of the dwarf lords. Yeah, they look like Gimli. Draw ruled with utter surety. The beauty of this fortress city was legend. Its wealth lay in the earth. Whoa. In precious gems hewn from rock, running like rivers through stone. They're like mining? Man, they are definitely up in the ante from the original Lord of the Rings. Fashioning objects of great beauty out of diamonds, oh emeralds, ruby, and sapphire. And that is where they found it. <laughs> Heart of the mountain. You see that candle? I was so focused on his nose, boy. Stone. A sign that his right to rule was divine. Uh oh. Humans All do that, right? Would pay homage to him. Even the great the elves? elven king, Thranduil. But the years of peace were not to last. Whoa. Slowly the days turned sour and the watchful nights closed in. Look at all that treasure. Oh my gosh. Thor's love of gold had grown too fierce. Oh my gosh. A sickness had begun to grow within him. It was a sickness of the mind. And where sickness thrives, bad things will follow. <laughs> a kite? That was cool. The first they heard was a noise like a hurricane coming down from the north. The pines on the mountain creaked and cracked in the hot, dry wind. This is nuts, dude. It's crazy. It's like beautifully shot, right? Yeah, the colors are amazing. It's insane. This is visually stunning. Dragon. A dragon. He was a fire drake from the north. A fire drake. <laughs> Hot lamp. Oh, no, that's what I pictured too. Smog and cut. Smog. Oh my gosh. How dare you destroy that cute town? Bro, that's what them dragons on the Game of Thrones show we're watching gonna end up doing. They better not. Trying to destroy stuff. I hope they just say teeny tiny and cute. Let us know. Actually, don't let us know. But yeah. Go watch that. Such wanton death was dealt that day, for this city of men was nothing to smile. Mm -hmm. They, they Dracarys all over that city, place. didn't they? But dragons covered gold with a dark and Yes, desire. So dragons want gold? <laughs> what are they going to do with that? <laughs> Maybe whoever's commanding him. His beard is crazy. I know. The jewels in it. Yeah, y'all ain't taking that thing down. Sorry. Yeah, they're going to need like a team of like 35 Gandalf. Oh my God. How did they not step on him? No! 
Oh my he lost gosh. It. Oh, he wants to go after it. Did the dragon get it? So Whoa. they're pirates, Loki? No, the dragon's gonna stay in there and just guard all that gold and stuff. I know, because they're Loki pirates. Oh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. What like are the they dragons? gonna do? What are they gonna do? Trade that gold in for what? Some meat? <laughs> I don't know, bro. Who Can't are they selling that to? Oh, he's just walking away from them. No help came from the elves that day. Oh, he's pissed. Any day since. And that's why they didn't like each other. That makes sense. The dwarves of Erebor wandered the wilderness. A once mighty people brought low. Didn't they go underground? The young dwarf prince took work where he could find it. But always he remembered the mountain smoke beneath the moon. For he had seen dragon fire in the sky. And a city turned to ash. Wow. And they survived somehow. That was portrayed amazingly. And he never forgot. That, my wow. dear Frodo, is where I come in. For quite by chance and the will of a wizard, fate decided I would become part of this tale. Well, it began as you might expect. In a hole in the ground, there lived a hobbit. You know, you gotta wonder if he's exaggerating Not a little bit. Nasty, <laughs> <dirty wet. laughs> worms and oozy smells. This was a hobbit hole. Good food, a warm hearth, and all the comforts of home. I'm gonna cry for some reason. Yeah, boy. Frodo Baggins of the Shire. Yeah, because... Are you supposed to cry? Well, it seems like so long ago we reacted to this, but this was a really cool moment for our channel because it might have been like the best moment, you know? One of them for sure. Just this whole... I didn't know Frodo was gonna be in it. Does he look different? Not really. No. What's this? That is private. It's not ready yet. Not ready for what? Reading. You all right, <laughs> You've just been sick. You're just over emotional, baby. <laughs> yeah. Oh, for these. Replies <clears throat> to the party invitations. Is it today? They all say they're coming, except for the Sackville Bagginses, who are demanding you ask them in person. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> My dead body. They seem to think you have tunnels overflowing with gold. Hardly overflowing. And it still smells of troll. <laughs> what on earth are you doing? <laughs> People still in spoons. Frodo sounds a little older, though, doesn't he? Yeah. Keep an eye on her after I'm... When I'm... When I'm... When you're what? It's nothing. Nothing. He does look a little older, don't he? Yeah. Some people are beginning to wonder about you, Uncle. They think you're becoming odd, unsocial. <laughs> Whiz poppers. I'm going to surprise him. Well, go on then. That's where it starts. Right. Well, hopefully. <sighs> I'm really hoping that's not the last time we see Frodo in the movie. You know what I mean? You know, he's just making like a little cameo. In those days, I was always on time. I was entirely respectable and nothing unexpected. That's a sick vest. <laughs> was that like a nod to the ring right there? That's smart thinking, babe, probably. <laughs> wow. Unbelievable. 60 years earlier? Oh, I thought he just like changed. What do you mean? <laughs> yes. Morning, you mean that it is a good morning whether I want it or not? Or perhaps you mean to say that you feel good on this particular morning? Or are you simply stating that this is a morning to be good on? <laughs> All of them at once, I suppose. Is he gained off the gray then? Yeah. Can I help you? That remains to be seen. I'm looking for someone to share in an adventure. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't imagine anyone west of Bree would have much interest in adventures. Nasty, disturbing, uncomfortable things. Make you late for dinner. <laughs> Facts. You've changed. I'm sorry, do I know you? I'm Gandalf, and Gandalf means me. <laughs> so they were just chatting like that and didn't know each other? Well, apparently he doesn't know him. <laughs> no idea, he was still in business. Oh, he knows them from fireworks selling. <laughs> Where else should I be? <clears throat> Didn't they call Pippin son of a took? Yeah, they did. Yeah. So that's relative, I guess. Even if it's only my fireworks. Well, that's decided. It'll be very good for you. Most amusing for me. I shall inform the others. No, wait. We do not want any adventures here. Thank you. Not today. Not <laughs> oh, he's anti-adventure at this point in his life. It'll make you late for dinner. Right. <laughs> Man, look at them toes. <laughs> he said, good morning. He's kind of like you, babe. What? He don't want no visitors. This one doesn't want to be late for dinner. I right. totally get it. I'm a hobbit. <sighs> it's kind of creepy. Why does he pick him though? Like obviously he picks him to go on this adventure. Maybe because he's a Baggins. Maybe that means something. Maybe because he's related to Frodo, the ultimate G of the Shire. Is Frodo alive at this point? Mm -mm. This is six years before, but yeah, maybe Gandalf knows. I don't know. I don't know what Gandalf knows. He drew a crooked F, didn't he? Dwallet. He really needs a peeping hole. <laughs> Doesn't he get one eventually? 
Bilbo Baggins. I can't remember. Yeah, I think he does. Yours. But do we know each other? No. Is it down here? Down where? Supper. He said there'd be food. Who said? Gandalf? He's eating his fish. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> he ate it like Smeagol. <laughs> Anymore. Bro, you gotta smack him in the head or you gotta move out. <laughs> one. Oh, he kept one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's just a dumb. Um, who are you? <laughs> expecting company. Especially like a Viking. <laughs> That'll be the door. Is there more? Bro, this is like Shrek. Remember wow. when they show up at Shrek's house? <laughs> Good evening. Yes, it is. <laughs> so I think it might rain later. Am I right? He takes it like that way. <laughs> For what? By my beer. No shorter than wider than last we met. Wider, not shorter. Sharp enough for both of us. Oh. <laughs> Who the heck are you? <laughs> 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 Sorry, I hate to interrupt. The thing is, I'm not entirely sure you're in the right house. Right. It's not that I don't like visitors. I, I like visitors as much as the next <laughs> hobbit. But I do like Whoa, this pantry is <laughs> clean. <laughs> mm, they're rummaging. I don't know. I just put some cheese. It is. It's gone blue. Um, it's gone blue. <laughs> it's blue cheese. I don't mean to be blunt, but I, uh, but I had to speak my mind. I'm you sorry. Think Apology accepted. Oh, now fill it up, brother. Don't stint. <laughs> Good eat again. Oh, no, no, no. Feely. And Keely. At, At your service. service. You must be Mr. Boggins. No, you can't come in. You come to the wrong house. What? Has it been cancelled? No, nothing's been cancelled. That's a relief. So he's part of some type of adventure that he doesn't know he's about to go on, apparently. Right. Gandalf Which signed him up. Shot? Yep. And he's hosting the pregame meal. Did you do it yourself? Well, uh, no, it's been in the family for years. <laughs> Oh, they know him. Let's shove this in the hole, otherwise we'll never get everyone in. Are they about to go try to rid that kingdom of that dragon or something? <laughs> Look, he's holding people's swords and stuff. Go away and bother somebody else. If this is some bloodhead's idea of a joke. His house is cool, though. Insane. Poor taste. All right, Gandalf's playing games. <laughs> there he is. You're playing games, Gandalf. Gandalf. Those are my friends. Excuse me, don't put that back. Getting out saying, bro, you're not going to be here to eat it. You're about to go on an adventure. Got a cheese knife. Cheese knife. He eats it by the block. Uh, no, no, that, that's Grandpa Mumbles. Take it back. <laughs> That'd be really annoying, though, wouldn't it? Yeah, look at Gandalf. He don't even care. He's just, <laughs> he's setting the table. <laughs> May I tempt you with a cup of chamomile? Red wine. For me, as it. He's just making himself at home. And I know. I like how we get to see so much of that house that we didn't get to see in the original. I know. He hits his head on that all the time. Oin. His prize winners. You appear to be one dwarf short. He will come. Mm. A little glass of red wine is requested. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, he had that at his house. <laughs> that was great, doesn't mm. it? Rob would invite all y'all over. We could just smack that. Oh, poor Bilbo. Don't you feel bad for him? No wonder he grew up the way he did. Why is he just walking across the table disrespectful? Well, they're obviously very British Vikings. That's a doily there, crochet. <laughs> oh. No, he was talking about the game. <laughs> This is the match. I'm surrounded by dwarves. What are they doing here? Is he taking his full length sausage? <laughs> I don't want to get used to them. They, they, they pillaged the pantry. I'm not even going to tell you what they've done in the bathroom. They've all but destroyed the plumbing. <laughs> I understand. I'm sorry to interrupt, but what should I do with my plate? Oh, Lord. <laughs> okay. He is kind of like a who vibe, is it? Right, like this is a like a Dr. Seuss movie vibe. or something. That guy has an Aragorn vibe. Oh, I thought you were talking about like Dr. Seuss and the who. Oh. You know, like how they come into their house? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> you guys know what I'm talking Oh, but look at that teamwork. Are they there to show them that things work a lot better if you're in a team? <laughs> Getting off just loving it. The whole time we were watching Lord of the Rings, I didn't know Gimli was like that. What, like a wide receiver? Yeah, I didn't know he could do all that. All the trick shots with the plates. <laughs> do perfect. Here's the late one. Here's a here. This guy? <laughs> <laughs> this place would be easy to find. 
wouldn't have found it at all had it not been for that mark on the door. There's no mark on that door. There is a mark. I put it there myself. Bilbo Baggins, allow me to introduce the leader of our company, Sorin Oakenshield. So. And he was late? <laughs> this is the Hobbit. We don't much fighting. Pardon me? Axe or sword? A cheese knife. <laughs> Looks more like a grocer than a burglar. <laughs> so, what's wrong with that? Did they all come? Aye. Envoys from all seven kingdoms. Is Dane with us? They will not come. <sighs> they say this quest is ours, and ours alone. You're going on a quest? Bilbo, my dear fellow. <laughs> he doesn't even get to sit down. <laughs> Far to the east. Let us have a little more light. Right. He's the producer. He's got to like set up the lighting and stuff. Wastelands lies a single solitary peak. A lonely mountain. Look what he brings, that little kid. Portents, and the portents say it is time. The burrants of yore return to Erebor. Reign of the beast will end. What beast? Well, that would be a reference to Smaug the Terrible. Chiefest and greatest calamity of our age. That dragon's name is Smog. Airborne fire breather. Teeth like razors, claws like meat hooks. Extremely fond of precious metals. Yes, I know what mm -hmm. a dragon is. I'm not afraid. I'll give him a taste of the wolfish iron right up his jackson. <laughs> the task would be difficult enough with an army behind us. But we number just 13. Not 13 of the best. Not brightest. <laughs> what do they need with Bilbo, though? But we're fighters. But we're fighters, All yeah. All of us. <laughs> to the last war. And you forget we have a wizard in our company. Gandalf will have killed hundreds of dragons in his time. Oh, well, no. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, come down now. How many dragons have you killed? Zero? Give us a I mean, he's a little inexperienced. It's okay. How many dragons have y'all killed? If he's killed at least five. Signs, do you not think others will have read them too? Rumors have begun to spread. The dragon Smaug has not been seen for 60 years. Eyes look east to the man, assessing, wondering, weighing the risk. Do we sit back while others claim what is rightfully ours? Or do we seize this chance to take back Erebor? So they want to take it back for the gold, or? Well, apparently all that. There is no way into the mountain. Apparently that's their treasure. It's not entirely true. And they're like, it's our time to go take it before someone else takes it. But we got to go defeat this dragon. It was given to me by your father, my friend. Safekeeping. It is yours now. Okay. But do you trust that guy? Gandalf? Nah, that dude. He's a little dark, ain't he? There is a key. Just late. There must be a door. These rooms speak of a hidden passage to the lower halls. There's another way in. The dwarf doors are invisible when closed. The answer lies hidden somewhere in this map. I do not have the skill to find it. There are others in Middle Earth who can. Oh, Bilbo. The task I have in mind will require a great deal of stealth and no small amount of courage. If we are careful, I believe that it can be done. That's why we need a burglar. An expert, I'd imagine. And are you? Am I one? No, <laughs> no, no, no! I'm not a burglar. I've never stolen a thing in my life. I was about to say, is he? You have to agree with Mr. Baggins. He's hardly burglar material. The wild is no place for gentle folk who can neither fight nor fend for themselves. He's, he's like, I agree. I don't need to go. So y'all can all go and get out of the house. is a burglar and a burglar. He is. Hobbits are remarkably light on their feet. In fact, they can pass unseen by most if they choose. And while the dragon is accustomed to the smell of dwarf, the scent of a hobbit is all but <laughs> unknown to him, which gives us a distinct... Oh, hell no. <laughs> you asked me to find the 14th member of this company, and I have chosen Mr. Baggins. There's a lot more to him than appearances suggest, and he's got a great deal more to offer than any of you now, including himself. But isn't this what inspires Frodo and Sam to go on the adventure because Bilbo's such an adventurer? Absolutely. And apparently Gandalf has a real, real deep, like, faith in hobbits. Yeah. He goes way back. We're off. It's just the usual summary of out-of-pocket expenses, time required, remuneration, funeral arrangements, so forth. <laughs> funeral arrangements? <laughs> oh, I cannot guarantee his safety. Understood. Nor will I be responsible for his fate. Agreed. You shall not be liable for injuries inflicted by or sustained as a consequence mm. thereof, no. including but not limited to no. laceration. <laughs> Evisceration. <laughs> I mean, you are fighting a dragon, right? Incineration. <laughs> oh, I am at the flesh off your bones in the blink of an eye. Fantastic. <laughs> Think furnace with wings. Oh, yeah, I, I need air. Steering <laughs> <laughs> and then puff. You're nothing more than a pile of ash. That's not what he needs. Nope. 
I'll be all right. Just let me sit quietly for a moment. They're basically kidnapping him in a way. I remember a young hobbit who was always running off in search of elves. He's like, yeah, but that's not going to see a dragon. The world is not in your books and maps. It's out there. I can't just go running off into the blue. I am a Baggins of Bag End. You are also a Took. Not you know nice. Your great 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 <laughs> uncle Bullroar Took was so Bullroar. He could ride a real horse. Yes, well, he could. In the Battle of Green Fields, he <laughs> charged the goblin ranks. He swung his club so hard it knocked the goblin king's head clean off and went down a rabbit hole. And thus, the battle was won, and the game of golf invented at the same time. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I believe you made that up. Well, all good stories deserve embellishment. You'll have a tale or two to tell of your own when you come back. See, he said it's okay to embellish a story if it's good enough. Can you promise that I will come back? <laughs> no. How can you? And if you do, you will not be the same. That's what I thought. Gandalf, I can't sign this. You've got the wrong hobbit. Oh. It'll take a little convincing, but he'll come around. Yeah. It appears we have lost our burglar. Probably for the best. The odds were always against us. After all... What are we? Merchants, miners, tinkers, toy makers. <laughs> Hardly the stuff of legend. There are a few warriors amongst us. <laughs> he's like, yeah. no, he's like, don't call me yourself. that. <laughs> I will take each and every one of these dwarves over an army from the Iron Hills. For when I called upon them, they answered. Honor, a willing heart. Maybe he's not so bad. Yeah. I misjudged him. I can ask no more than that. He has like music behind him, so you know he's important. Mm -hmm. You have a choice. You've done honorably by our people. You have built a new life for us in the Blue Mountains. A life of peace and plenty. A life that is worth more than all the gold in Erebor. This has come to me. They dreamt of the day when the dwarves of Erebor would reclaim their homeland. Oh, so that's their homeland. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's their treasure. And we are with you, laddie. Oh. But why do I get the feeling that he could turn, though? Inside with who? The dragon? I mean, no, not in side with the dragon but seize the kingdom back and then be like all right well there's only one little caveat to this we're not going to rule the same way we're going to rule my way true my bad i didn't even think of because that. isn't he trying to give you <laughs> alpha vibes like he's like yeah the like he's like i don't see him listening to somebody and he's singing he's trying to be like aragorn <laughs> <laughs> you about to know one hobbit is this is our hype music in the locker room. Remember Bilbo, the actor, was in Marvel as a villain? Yeah, he was, wasn't he? Yeah. Bilbo was like, I really wish I'd get out my damn house. I know. <laughs> and they don't stop singing. I'm trying to go to sleep. He's like, I understand dwarves, but like, what does that have to do with me? I'm just a hobbit in the Shire. I'm chilling. Where'd they go? <laughs> no way they actually left. Would you live in a house like that? I don't know. I feel like I would bunk my head. I mean, assuming it was built tall enough for you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, assuming you're not like a... Oh no, is he gonna like run after him? I guess they just wake up real early. He gave this whole thing like he wanted him to leave, but now he's looking kind of like depressed. He's kind of he like, to... I wonder what I'm gonna miss out on. He's like, I didn't want to go to the dance. I just wanted to be invited. Oh, that's that contract he didn't sign. That's why they left him. Mm-hmm. They wanted to go find a new burglar. He said, I'm the one. I would leave too. He doesn't even have a TV in his house. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, no good. I love seeing more of the Shire. This is great. I know. This is what I was hoping for. And the music just adds to it. It's so great. I'm already late. I'm going on an adventure. Aww. <laughs> Waste of time. You saw Hobbit. <laughs> Them toes. I signed it. So proud. <laughs> No, we didn't. Man, I would just take the pony. Get used to it. Oh. But it's too cute. You wouldn't want to ride on that thing? Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's probably like a kid. It's more like, Shh, get off me. Come on, Nori. Pay up, What's that about? Oh, they took wages on whether or not you'd turn up. <laughs> Most of them bet that you wouldn't. What did you think? <laughs> <laughs> got paid <up. laughs> I never I forgot my handkerchief. Here. Oh no, we're not turning around for a handkerchief. Use this. Oh, hands. Yeah, that claw. <laughs> Move on. <laughs> he said I forgot my handkerchief. Here you go, here's a rag. So I guess he's just not cut out for the adventure life yet, but he'll get there. Like second breakfast, none of that. You were born to the rolling hills and little rivers of the Shire. But home 
is now behind you. You think this is still in New Zealand? Whoa. Mm, probably, yeah. Like this spot right here. Yeah, this is for sure. That's so beautiful. If y'all have been there, you're cool. <gasps> Ugh. That's how many bugs he has in his beard and stuff. No, he's snoring them in. Ew. Gandalf's just up puffing, ain't he? 24-7. <laughs> that long bottom leaf or whatever they call it. What is it? That stuff is definitely not marijuana. Yep. Orcs. Orcs is. Throat cutters. Throat cutters? <laughs> out there. Old lads are crawling with them. They strike in the wee small hours when everyone's asleep. Just lots of blood. They're the ones that went, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. I think a night raid by orcs is a joke. I didn't mean anything by it. No, you didn't. You know nothing of the world. We haven't eaten for three stinking days. <laughs> yeah. Thorin has more cause than most to hate orcs. <laughs> After the dragon took the lonely mountain, King Thror tried to reclaim ancient dwarf kingdom of Moria. Oh, he already tried before. But our enemy had got there first. Dang, I'm surprised he came out of there, my guy. Those odds aren't good, are they? Not at all. Moria had been Oh my. Taken. And those are some huge orcs. Oh, because they're dwarves. That's why. Azog. Oh the gosh. Azog. The giant had sworn to wipe out the line of Durin. He began by beheading the king. That's crazy, bro. That's why he don't like y'all. He had to see that. Oh, they threw it at him. Mm -mm. He, he wrote it like, uh, like kickball. Like some dice or something. Train. Was driven he mad said, by ah, grief. Snakes <laughs> <guys. laughs> yeah. Taken prisoner or killed. We did not know. We were leaderless. Defeat. Oh my god, he had that. He, he had a spin attack, boy. Against this terrible foe. His armor rent, wielding nothing but an oaken branch as a shield. He really earned that man's respect that day, didn't he? Yeah, that's why they don't care if he's late. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Azog learned that day that the line of Durin would not be so easily broken. <laughs> He's so noble. <laughs> you were just misunderstood, my guy. Man, my bad, guys. I don't know why I ever doubted him. Yeah, he's like kind of an Aragorn figure, right? Now he is, absolutely. Our forces rallied, drove the orcs back. Our enemy had been defeated. But there was no feast, nor song that night. Oh my gosh, That's so the many carnage. soldiers, I know. We're beyond the count of grief. Wow. We few had survived. Yeah, y'all bros for life after that. And I thought to myself then. He got the same log. Yeah, he's gonna frame that. There is one who I could follow. Just defeated the pale orc. I'll never understand. There is one I could call king. Every time it, you call someone king and it pans to him, it's who it's supposed to be <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about then <laughs> remember in the last one it was like it'll be the next king and it pans to aragorn yeah, and i'm like absolutely. there's those wargs whoa that's one of those ones right there that's one of those yeah <laughs> he's one of those kind oh is this another language there's like what do you call dwarf i mean uh orc language too i don't know i didn't recognize it <laughs> but you do say until the rain has done it. <laughs> there are five of us. The greatest of our order is Saruman. Yeah, that little snake. I know. You know I've quite forgotten their names. Blue wizards. <laughs> There's only like five. He's forgotten the names. <laughs> that would be Radagast, the Brown. Is he a great wizard or is he more like you? Oh my god. <laughs> Get off the greatest wizard. Who prefers the company of animals to others. Keeps a watchful eye over the vast forest lands to the east. And a good thing too. For all his evil will look to find a foothold in this world. Right. Is this him? Why is he playing Gandalf out like he's not the best wizard? I'm not good at all. Oh. They eating poison. There must be orcs in there. The mushrooms are rotten, the animals are dead. Oh, that's the <coughs> oil stuff that they made them drink. Oh. Oh. Sebastian. Sebastian. Sebastian the hedgehog. Why did he eat a Sad. I always get porcupines and hedgehogs mixed up. For goodness sake. I mean, yeah, they're definitely similar. Oh, I love this guy. He's the vet. I don't understand why it's not working. As if it's witchcraft. What if it is? 
witchcraft. But it is a dark and powerful magic. Oh my god. The Slender Man's out there? The spider! Is it her for real? Mm-mm. She's gotta go. What's she doing way out there? No. Mm hmm. Poor fella. What did he do? Pull the shank out? Uh, now he's doing witchcraft or a spell because he's a wizard, right? I don't know what he is. What is he doing? Is he the blue wizard? No, the brown. You can handle that spider. Sam and Frodo did. I said, all right. It looks like he's done stepped on his house a few times. Look at it. Two of them. Where on this good earth did those foul creatures come from? The old fortress. I told him. <laughs> Show me. They said, I'll tell you, boss. <laughs> oh, the jackrabbits. Are they pulling them? Oh, oh. heck no. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this is dope. Is that I, like the Iditarod, but before then? I, I'm not trying to make a reference, but this is so much better than Worm Riders. <laughs> we don't need to talk about that. We'll come here. <laughs> oink, oink. It would be wiser to move on. We could make for the Hidden Valley. I will not go near that place. He's not a ranch fan. The elves could help us. We could get to start listening to Gandalf. They have a map. Lord Elrond could help us. Help. Don't we know Elrond? The dragon attacks hmm? Erebor. Brother. <laughs> I betrayed my father. You are neither of them. I did not give you that map and key for you to hold on to the past. I did not know that they were yours to keep. You <laughs> see what you see what I'm saying though? This guy's got like an angry vibe to him. I mean, I get it. He lost his city and all of it. The only one around here who's got any sense. But who's that? Myself, Mr. Beggars. <laughs> Lie down your arms, or we'll whip his off. Oh my gosh. What are they going to do? I'm surprised that they said yeah to that. Squash him into jelly. With a sprinkle of sight. That does sound quite nice. <laughs> we ain't got all night. Oh my all night gosh. Far away. Let's get a move on. I don't fancy being turned to stone. Oh, so if they see the dawn, they'll be turned to stone. You are making a terrible mistake. Where's getting off? He needed a break from this nonsense. What about the season? Well, have you smelt them? You're gonna need something stronger than sage before you plate this lot up. What do you know about cooking dwarf? Let the uh, Flurgerberber Hobbit talk. <laughs> uh, the, the secret to cooking dwarf. Come on. It's, uh, Tell us the secret. Yeah, yes, the secret is to skin them first. Oh! <laughs> Tom, get me filleting knife. Filleting. <laughs> His filleting knife instead of filleting. Yeah. <laughs> I've eaten plenty with their skins on, boots and all. Oh, there he is. Yeah, now sneaking through the bushes. Nothing wrong with a bit of raw dwarf. Nice and crunchy. Ooh, there's yeah. so much hair. Not, not that one. He, he's infected. You what? Worms in his tubes. Ugh. <laughs> in, in fact, they all have. They're infested with parasites. It's a terrible business. I wouldn't risk it. I really wouldn't. Did he say parasites? Yes, we don't have parasites. <laughs> you have parasites. Just let your pride go. Yes, you do. <laughs> That's how you become the king I've in this got community. As big as my arm. One of the biggest parasites. I got huge parasites. Oh, so he gave, he gave him some time for the argument. Who's buying time? Yeah, I see. Ooh. He's always up, right on time with the light. The troll is in the stone in the light. That's why they. I guess so. I didn't know that. Okay, can you enough help them? They're cooking. They've been cooking all night and they're fine. Because mm -hmm. they've been rotating them. <laughs> Man, I'd break that. Yeah. Where did you go to, if I may ask? To look ahead. What brought you back? Looking behind. He had the nows to play for time. None of the rest of you thought of that. That is true. It must have come down from the Etten Moors. Since when do mountain trolls venture this far south? Ooh, not for an age. Not since a darker power ruled these lands. So they're getting bold and expanding, right? I like guess. Like the evil forces of the, of the realm. They I guess, because there's trolls. In daylight. That must be a cave nearby. They found it. Oh. Uh, is that where the spider lives? Maybe. Stage. I was about to say, I thought that he was saying that's where the trolls were. Be careful what you touch. Ew. Whoa, did you see all them heads and stuff on them spikes right there? Yeah, but it's daytime, so I guess they like aren't out. Seems a shame just to leave it lying around. Anyone could take it. Get a shovel. <laughs> 
That'd be clean though to come across a cool sword. Mm-hmm. It's like playing a video game. These swords are not made by any troll. Those are human. No, they're made by any smith among men. Because the Aragorn sword looked like that. These are forged in conduit by the high elves of the first age. Oh. Maybe I'm wrong. Could not wish for a finer blade. And that's the elder sword. Could be. He said, man, I might have to keep this then. Upgrade. <laughs> back, back, full. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Both are going nori. A broken Another handle. Sword? Not broken. Here. Oh. About your size. I can't take this. That might be the one that that lights up blue. That's what I was saying. The, <clears throat> the yep. one when the orcs and goblins are nearby. That's the one he gives to Frodo. Yeah. I have never used a sword in my life. And I hope you never have to. But if you do remember this, true courage is about knowing not when to take a life, but when to spare one. So use this with caution, Bilbo. Something's coming. Oh. So that's the origin story of that sword that we saw in the original trilogy. That's kind of cool, though. He found it out there with just some hellions in a cave. <laughs> yeah, there it is. But it's an elvish sword. It lights up blue. <laughs> what on earth are you doing here? Something's terribly wrong. Just give me is he forgetting what just happened? I had the thought, and now I've lost it. it oh, wow. Getting off the way better wizard. It's just a little... Praying mantis? The green wood is sick. Nothing grows anymore. But worse are the webs. Spiders, Gandalf. Mm-mm. I'd have to go. Yeah, I saw two of them. They came from Dol Guldur. He said, hmm? Why is that person walking like that? I don't know. That is... power dwells in there. The craziest looking place I've seen. Look how overgrown it is. It is the shadow of an ancient hall. Mm. One that can summon the spirits of the dead. But you're a wizard, so you're good, right? Hey, he can fight when he needs to. I saw him, Gandalf, from out of the darkness. A necromancer has come. Didn't it just look like a businessman? Yeah, it kind of looked like he wanted to sell you a microwave. Yeah. He's pretty good with that club. Try a little old Toby. It'll help settle your nerves. But I would. Try a little Toby. That's not good, Toby. No. A necromancer, are you sure? Had like a total mind change just now, but that's definitely not, you know what. No, that is not a wolf. Oh my god, it's a war. No, they look like hyenas. Down. The king? Yeah, they do look like hyenas, don't they? Part two is on its way, but if this video has been out for a couple days, go ahead and look in the description, guys. It's probably in there, and if you don't see it there, go look on our channel. Make sure you subscribe, and thank you guys for watching. Let's go.